All right, so today's topic is voting. This is why I vote locally. And hear me out. To all my libertarian, my anarchists, my non-voting, non-political people that are like, F the system, hear me out. Because I used to be in that boat. For the last 10 years, I have basically been disassociated with the political system in a sense that I will never choose the lesser of two evils. I will never check a box for a Democrat or Republican that is just going to continue the status quo. That is what I have seen for the 10 years that I've been paying attention. That if I pick one of these boxes, I'm continuing the status quo. None of them care about any of the single issues that I fight for, like genetically modified foods, the pesticides, the fluoride, the weather modification, the Agenda uh, Agenda 21 infiltrating local governments, um, unnecessary wars and conflicts. I mean, there's so many things that none of them would ever touch. Why would I vote? So two really interesting things have happened in the last two years. And one of them is that I have been put in a unique situation where I have uh, connected with local politicians and um, candidates running for office, soon to be uh, politicians. This has put me in a spot where I can reach these people. You know, if you think about the president, I'm never gonna get a meeting or a phone call with President Biden or Donald Trump, never, it's not gonna happen. They're, the system is too rigged, it's too controlled, and we're too far away from those people to ever reach them. I have the ability to reach local congressmen, the local mayor, Heck, I've run into Mayor Demings multiple times. You all have seen this. I've really gotten on his nerves. I didn't vote for him or his opponent. So um, uh, I I know people that are on DeSantis' team now. You know, I have other local politicians' cell phones in my number. If these people act up at this election, I have a much more likely chance to get in their ear and get in front of them. This gives me the ability to hold their feet to the fire more. Is it going to work? Are they gonna completely ignore me? Maybe, but I have decided to give this another go. Typically, I would just go down and skip almost every single name on the whole ballot because I thought they were both gonna continue the status quo. I won't pick someone just because they have a D or an R in front of their name. I pretty much would leave the ballot blank. Uh, I've written in Ron Paul for president the last few times because he's the only human being worthy of that position uh, running at this point. So that's just, that's, that's that, end of story. But I can get to these people now, and I have connections with them, and I feel that if I'm able to hold their feet to the fire and I can encourage others to do the same, we can actually see change on the local level. And the other interesting thing that has happened is the the event, the P-L-A-N-D-E-M-I-C. I'll just spell from now on. This last two years has turned almost everyone into a single issue voter, including myself. Because the only reason I'm going to pick up that ballot this year and, and, and give these people a shot is because I'm single issue voting. Now, I don't think there's a whole lot that the president can do or the people that control the president can do to affect my life, whether it's Democrat or Republican. I think they're going to move the deck chairs around on the sinking Titanic every four years. Everyone's going to fight about it. But when you take a big step back and look at the macro, everything's the same. When I check a box for the President of the United States, I'm checking a box that says I want more unlimited spending from the Federal Reserve, the uh, quantitative easing and fractional reserve. That's all going to continue um, just mindlessly. Illegal wars overseas, pushing the 5G, Agenda 21, sustainable development goals into our local governments, um, covering for Monsanto, you know, not pardoning Assange, not talking about the destruction of Building 7 and false flag terrorism on our own soil. The list is very long and none of them are gonna talk about that. So they are not worthy of that position and it's not worth checking a box and consenting to all of those things. The way I look at it is if I vote for president, If I check that box, I am signing off on endless drone strikes on women and children for the next four years. I do not condone that and I will not consent to that. Now, are my local politicians signing off on something like that? No, they're not. And I do feel that I can get closer to them as you've seen with my interactions with Demings, as you've seen with me being at events with DeSantis. We have the ability to get close to these people. All right, so sorry for the little tangent about why I don't vote for president. But the bottom line is it didn't seem like politicians' decisions affected people's lives as much as they do now. They definitely affected your lives, of course, but nothing, 
like the last two years of locking people in their homes, masking their children, mandating an experimental product in order to go back to work. I mean, this is absolutely unheard of and affected everyone the most ever. So for people not to vote to try to stop that, I think is kind of silly. Um, in most cases, I would say I'm not compromising principles. I'm not picking the lesser of two evils. But this time around, you think I'm not going to pick a DeSantis over a Newsom? I mean, just think about what you were put through and what your kids and your, and your state and your county were put through. Are you not going to try to stop that? So like I said, this may be an utter waste of time. These people may completely forget about uh, us when they get into office or when the, this event is completely over, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I am much closer to them than I ever have been. I have some of their cell phone numbers. I, I think that single issue voting on this one thing, especially since all of these people that are running for office for the first time, not just understand that we shouldn't be locked in our homes, they're also finding out the other dangers of the other V um, products. They're finding out that the medical system is, is a complete fraud. They're learning that this last two years isn't the only event that has been orchestrated and, and lied and, and uh, made to manipulate our emotions into creating a different type of society. And that is what my hope is, and that I realize that these new people running for office are gonna try to stop this dead in its tracks. But I am encouraging everyone watching this to go out and vote for your local representatives that stand for medical freedom, that stand for not locking you down in your home, and hold their feet to the fire. Let's find out, because I, I, if you all don't, I'm coming for you. I, I, I literally have your information. I know where your all's events are at. I'm not scared to show up with a camera, and I will have other friends do it with me. Let's find out if DeSantis really cares about issues that aren't popular. The genetically modified mosquitoes. Does he care that false flag terrorism is taking place in his state? These are things that we need to find out they're willing to talk about, not just because they became a political talking point. So start emailing and start calling and start posting more about these unpopular topics like the genetically modified mosquitoes. The new, um, agriculture commissioner or whoever it is, James Shaw, I think is running for that seat. Start asking him, hey, when you call that research these people, hey, what do you think about the mosquitoes? The more we put the bug in their ear, no pun intended, the more the likely chance we have of them talking about it, bringing it up, raising more awareness on this issue and getting it shut down. That's how it happens. That's how we stop the mandates with the firefighters and against Mayor Demings. That's how we can stop the mosquitoes. That's how we can stop Agenda 21 from infiltrating our governments. So with that being said, go vote for your local candidate that cares about your community. Don't feel free to leave it blank too if neither one of them do. Do your own research. And last but not least, shout out to all the candidates that are running in my area that showed up to the school board meetings, that showed up to the protests during the lockdown, during this madness. I remember you, we see you, please support them. That's people like Dr. Willie Montague, that's Alicia Ferrant running for um, school um, commissioner, school board. Uh, that is, gosh, there's so many to name. Brittany Walker, Anthony Sabatini, uh, Drake Wirtz. There's so many people in Orange and Seminole County and across Florida that were standing up for your kids. Do your research, reach out to me if you're not sure who to vote for, you know, look these people up. I'm sure the Orlando Sentinel interviewed every single judge and candidate. The Florida Freedom Keepers had meet and greet events. You had the ability, you still have the ability to go out, find out who these people are and make a difference in your local community. And vote Chris Messina for Orange County Mayor so we can get rid of that lying scumbag Jerry Demings.